Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to use a Man Whitney U test in Stata. In order to do so, we'll start by preloading this data set Fuel2, which you can load just by typing in Web Use Fuel2 in Stata. And let's have a quick look at it. It seems that we are measuring miles per gallon as a function of uh, treatment. So some of these cars are treated, others are not. And we want, want to know if there's a difference in miles per gallon between the treated and untreated cars. Now, in Stata, you do not use Man Whitney itself as, as the name of this command. It's called rank sum. So you enter rank sum. MPG here is the continuous variable that you're testing, comma, by. And in the parentheses, you have the dichotomous or two-valued variable treatment that you are sorting on. And here, of course, there are only two treatment possibilities, which are treated and untreated. And we push enter. And here you see your null hypothesis of equality between treatment and a lack of treatment. And we see that we cannot reject uh, the null because of your p-value over here. Um, now, why would you carry out the Mann-Whitney U test? It's, it's non-parametric. And most people would know the independent samples t-test as the parametric version of the same thing that you're trying to do with the man whitney u test this tutorial isn't the place to talk to you about the differences between parametric and non-parametric statistics it's just to show you that uh, when you as a student are asked for a non-parametric equivalent for let's say robustness testing purposes or just because your professor wants you to demonstrate that you do know the difference between these tests i want you to see just how to run the actual test in stata and then you know consult your statistics textbook or uh, other sources to learn more about why uh, a non-parametric test like man whitney u uh, might be more useful there's one thing that i'd like to sort of call your attention to um, what's really cool about Stata, and this is not true of the current version of SPS, for example, uh, is you get your different p-values based on different conditions here. So one of them is the inequality of these two means, right, between treatment and not treatment. But you also have different p-values based on these directionalities. Is it greater or lesser than? Um, so those are some different conditions. And you notice that you do not get that here in the rank sum. You just get what's tested here is just the null hypothesis of equality between the conditions. Now, I'd like to show you a quick command that will give you more insight that's useful here. We're going to just repeat the rank sum command here, but we're going to add p order at the end. And what we get here is a probability. Uh, and this is pretty useful. So here we see that the probability that miles per gallon for the untreated cars is greater than miles per gallon for the treated cars is 34.7%. Uh, and obviously, um, you know, assuming an alpha of 0.05, we would like to see this here be something like 0.95 before we could conclude that uh, the miles per gallon of the untreated cars was greater than the miles per gallon of the treated cars. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you, and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com, we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening, and have a great day.